Today I am sharing how to create an organized home and tidy habits that I use every week. When it comes to laundry, I try to get everything washed, dried, and folded all in the same day if possible. And sometimes there are things left in the dryer that we just forget about. That's what happened here. So as soon as I realized that, I decided to fold these items and get them put away and just do a general tidy around our house. One of the best things I did was to go more minimal with our towels. So each of us have two towels and then we have two extras for when we have guests. Here we are in my boys' room. They share a room and we have all of their toys, games, clothes, everything is in their shared bedroom. And that is one thing that has helped me to stay more organized, minimal, and tidy is to put a limit on what we bring into our home and what we keep. So by putting all of their toys in their room, that means we can only keep what will fit in their room. And they are sharing a dresser now, which also keeps us with more of a capsule wardrobe because then they can only keep so many clothes in that shared dresser, which really cuts down on the amount of organizing, tidying, and things that I have to deal with. We recently redid their room. Instead of having two separate beds, they now have bunk beds, which they are loving. We also added a long desk for them to be able to do all their crafts at, which allowed us to bring all of the crafting supplies into their bedroom as well. So now everything is in here. My best tip for staying organized with kids is to have a dedicated place for everything in their room and in their lives that they know about, which is also easy for them to locate and to put away the items themselves. So we have plastic bins that they can see through. It may not be aesthetically pleasing, but at least they can see what is in the bin so they know where things go. Pencils in the pencil box and so on. Then we also have a dedicated box for shoes, for soft animals, for trains. Everything has a dedicated location and this helps them to be able to tidy and organize their own room on their own. And while they are really good at putting everything away most of the time, sometimes there is a lack of motivation. So I'm in here today to help them get this very tidy. And I also wanted to do a little bit of cleaning because we had a guest over and I had set the tidying aside for a while. So today was the day to really get in here and get it all cleaned up. One way I like to habit stack when it comes to tidying and cleaning is once the floor is clear of toys and things that are sometimes down there for a while, especially in their room, that is when I will vacuum. It's kind of like a signal to me, look, the floor is clear, let's get the vacuum out and just do a very quick vacuum of the room. The other reason why I'm trying to vacuum more often is we currently are in summer and I've just noticed a lot more little baby spiders popping up here and there. So I just wanna vacuum whenever possible to make sure I'm getting all those. If you're interested in seeing how this room looked before and how we redid it and made it look the way it is now, I will link the video down below. It was a series that my mom and I did redoing this room. Now it is the next day and I'm here in my office, which had become a dumping ground for things when my mother-in-law was here visiting with us. I didn't wanna spend my time tidying and cleaning. I wanted to spend my time having fun with everyone. So I let all of that go while she was here and now I'm back to put all of this stuff where it should go and do a general tidy in my office. 
And the other thing I want to mention is that I do not like to tidy all day long. I usually fit these projects in where I can in my day, where it makes sense, and that is how I like to get it done. I know other people like to have one day where they just tidy the whole entire day, but because I'm home and I work from home, I find it easier to tidy as I go a lot of the time. And here is something that I had bought a little while ago. It's a fan because it's been so hot here. And like I mentioned, we had the guest, so I had just set this aside. But now that it's 100 degrees, it's time to get this out and start using it. Yay for clear counters. Now I'm just tidying up from a party that we had. We had an ice chest full of drinks, so I'm just taking them out, letting them dry here on the counter, and then I'm going to be drying out this ice chest and returning it back to my mom. She had brought this over with the ice in it, and while we had it sitting here for a little while, it's now time to put it away and get everything back to our normal setup. Dishes are something that I do daily, three times a day, and I try to get them done as soon as possible after we eat each meal. Since we don't have a dishwasher, it's just easier to stay on top of everything that way. But I wanna mention that the best way that we have stayed tidy and organized is just to have less, less dishes, less clothing, less of everything, and by having just the things we truly need, it is way easier to keep these things organized and put in the right place because there isn't an overabundance of stuff. I've been showing you how I generally tidy throughout the week, but there is this area right here by my kitchen and this walkthrough where we have some bins and I'm going to go through these and organize them really quick. When we first put this bench seat down here, I decided to stick some baskets down here and we have our piano right behind the camera. I just stuck all of my husband's guitar and these music books down here. I think all of this can fit into one basket, so I'm gonna do that now. Sometimes I find we just stick things in different areas and no longer revisit it. And that's one thing I like to do uh, once in a while is just revisit different areas, see where I can combine things. This basket is all stuff that my husband definitely wants to keep, but he doesn't necessarily use this every day, so it can all be combined. And then he can just go through it whenever he has the time and grab things out. The other thing we've done is we've stuck the baby toys just down here. I keep all of my children's toys in their bedrooms, but we do pull this box out super often, and this is an area where my baby Levi, who's about five months old now, likes to play. So we just keep this bin out for now, and then since it all fits in here, we can easily grab it and put it back in his room but this is the perfect spot for it right now. This being open now, I might be able to let the kids put their shoes in it or just find some other things to put in here. Maybe the toys into this basket instead of into that red one. We'll see, but I just feel better about having all that in one spot and more free space. Now we're heading into my bedroom to do a little bit of tidying in here. Normally I tidy this the second I wake up, I make the bed and I put everything away that needs to get put away, but I decided to save it today for you guys so I could show you how I do it. And I just wanna mention that our room does not normally look like this. It is way more cluttered than normal in here because we have all of the baby stuff in here right now, including his pack and play, but also the changing table because while we just had a guest, we needed to empty out the guest room or what has become the baby room, but we're also going to be having more guests very soon. So instead of doubling my amount of work and switching things back and forth, I decided to just leave it as is for now. So while it's a little bit too cluttered in here for me right now, it is what is working for us.
why. <laughs> A while ago I made a video about what I was going to stop doing and that included getting rid of all my throw pillows except for these two. And we kept these two because we do use them on the couch. My husband uses it for his back every night and all the other ones were just something that was more decorative but they ended up being such a pain taking them on and off of our bed and they would fall to the floor constantly picking them up. And I have to say that was one of the best decisions I ever made was to get rid of all the decorative throw pillows that we weren't using. I guess you could say my biggest tip when it comes to staying more organized and tidying your home is to have less and get rid of those things that you find yourself constantly reorganizing and trying to find a place for. Because with the less items that we have in this house, I find the easier it is to stay organized and the easier it is to tidy and keep my home clean looking and put together. Since becoming more minimal, I find I have a lot less tidying to do. And when I do have to tidy our house as everybody does, it's way easier and quicker because everything in our home has a place and we know where everything goes, which makes it easier to put away. And it also makes it so much easier to find what we're looking for when we go to do a project or when we are trying to get ready in the morning. It has just simplified our life. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to never miss a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.